it's Ashley with At Home with Ashley and this week we are working more on my bathroom. We are going to make a bathtub nook. So my bathroom is pretty small. There's just space for like a 32 inch vanity, a tub, and a toilet. So if you're like, why would you make the tub feel like it's kind of a different space than the rest of the bathroom? The reason is, is because I think it'll be more cozy. I'm making like kind of an alcove look at the top of the bathtub so I can add some drapes and I think that'll be really nice privacy. So like if you're taking a bathtub and someone else needs to be in the bathroom, you can have something closed, which we didn't have before. And I also just like the look of it. It's more of like a European look. I've seen this a lot on Pinterest and I just love it. I love the vibes. So we're going to do it. The first thing we did was buy wood so that we could put like a two by four on either side of the wall and a beam at the top. And we bought the smoothest wood we could so we could get a really good finish and then all we did was use screws to attach it on the sides and the top. By doing this it's also marking where we're having tile up to a chair rail and then inside the bathtub area I'm going to the ceiling with the tile. So it's also nice for that because it kind of says this is this section that's just the bathtub which might have a lot of splashing um, and then the other section is the area where you don't have to be quite as careful. And we used to have a shower in here when we first moved in and I took it down immediately and I haven't regretted it since so it's just a bathtub in here uh, but you could add a shower if you felt like it. Okay, so once the wood was up to kind of create the alcove, then we continued to tile inside the bathroom. It took us one day to do the back wall, another day to do the side wall, and then we finished it up on a third day. And I cannot tell you how happy we were to be done with tiling because it's like, it's just so it's physical labor that is so hard. It is satisfying to start the day with a wall made of like cement board and then end it with beautiful tile. And then we went over the tile with grout. I'm using the same grout color on the tile, on the walls, as I did on the floor. It's a sand color and just, I figured they might as well match. I wanted to tell you why we chose subway tile for this project. Number one, whenever I walk through a historic house, which is my favorite thing to do on vacation, usually the bathrooms in the kitchen have subway tile on it. It's such a historic look and the house is old. So even though to some people like subway tile is the cheapest, maybe a trendy option, um, to me, I look at it as it stood the test of time. And the other reason I really like it is you don't need two spacers if you buy the right ones. So I bought the cheapest ones at the hardware store. I can put a, the link in the description. The edge kind of has a bevel to it. Um, and so then when you put them together, you push them as close to each other as you can. And then that little space that's on the top, that's where the grout goes. So if you have to add spacers, it's going to take a lot longer. And so I just, I like not using them, going for the cheapest option. And then you can upgrade in other areas because I have so much going on with this room. Having something white, plain, kind of boring, it's really good so the eye has somewhere to rest and they're so easy to clean. Love. When we first started tiling, we had some difficulties. We were rusty at it. We hadn't done it in a few years. And we, my husband and I argued quite a bit. And then by the end, we were like a well-oiled machine. I had a job to do. I'd put on the big tiles. He would cut the tiles for the open spaces. I put the tile adhesive on the wall. Um, and then I use a laser level to put out the big pieces. And then he just fills in on the sides and it's the perfect balance. So that was really nice and it went so smooth. In about five hours, we were able to do the tall last wall in the shower area and the wall um, next to the shower area, which is like where the towels will hang. And next to that, we'll have a cabinet. So if you're wondering where there's a section in the corner we didn't tile, it's because the cabinet's gonna go there. Okay, I like to complain that tile work is hard and it's labor intensive and it is those things, but it's also super satisfying. Like for one day of labor, I will have years and years and years and years of like beautiful atmosphere to live with. So it's totally worth it. It is hard in the moment. Like I get like, crouch down and like stand up a lot so it's like a lot of squats and my legs always get sore but totally worth it. Another thing we're adding to the bathtub nook are corbels or you could call them brackets too. Um, I just got them from Home Depot for like $19 each. Super affordable and then we're hanging them up with nails and it just really takes like the plain wood and makes it come to life. It gives it a lot of definition and interest and I just love that like soft shape. And I need to paint the alcove we put in for the tub. My first thought was to just paint it white, 
But then seeing the window trim next to the white tile, they're not like quite the same white and it kind of bugs me. So I'm like, maybe I should do the same yellow I did on the ceiling on the trim. So I'm going to try that out. And if it doesn't look good, I can always paint it over. But that's our first try. So I am getting <laughs> super excited because we have been doing so much hard crappy work we've been working on this room we tore it apart at the end of january and now it's like mid-april so this wasn't like fast and easy and it's something i've been dreaming of for years so like having a section get close to being done so cool after you tile it you really need to wait 24 hours for it to set before you grout or you'll get bubbles in your grout so while i was waiting for that i decided to paint which is totally fine except i shouldn't have painted where the grout kind of is close to the paint and I knew this was a gamble but I didn't realize how bad it would be um when we took the grout off and I got a little bit on the wood beam it just like turned black so I'm gonna have to totally repaint that so it was kind of a waste of time to even do that so hot tip if you are tiling and painting when we bought the wood for this project, we bought red wood, and that's because it was the smoothest, most expensive, fanciest wood we could find, because we didn't want like a normal two by four that's like $4 or $3, because those are so rough. Those are meant to be covered. And so we bought like the $15 version. But the problem is, is that evidently red wood needs to be primed or it'll reject paint. We have to remove all of the paint that I spent all yesterday putting on and then do the oil-based primer and then I can paint again and I'm like I'm so tired of this project um we've just been working on it for months and months and months and I'm like I get my tub in tomorrow we have a friend um driving an hour and a half to help us move the tub in um so I just like want everything done in there so that I don't have to work with the tub in the way um, so this is a bit of a setback and it's kind of frustrating, but it's okay. I painted the trim in the bathroom the yellow color and I really like how the arch looks, the little alcove area, that's so cute. Anything that touches the ceiling, like the crown molding and the little trim on the sides, love it. I do not like the window trim. It kind of looks like a highlighter. It's just like highlighting the window trim and it's not something I really want to draw your eye to. I do want to draw your eye up and around. With the arch so that works really nicely so i'm just going to go over the yellow paint with white paint because if you hate it you hate it but it's okay to try things and paint over them like this is just life and this is how you get what you want is being able to fix your mistakes today's the day the tub is going in so exciting so when my husband was figuring out the plumbing i took the old feet that were under our bathtub and i didn't really want to use these at first but since we have that beautiful mosaic floor we really don't want the tub to crack it they're just tiny little pieces so we're using these to kind of distribute the weight and i just had to clean them up they're nasty so i just like wiped them off scraped off the old like there's caulk i don't know the people before us did weird things um <laughs> and just sanded them down so that they look like just like raw wood so the tub that is going in has been sitting out in front of our house for weeks actually so getting it in is feels amazing um it was painted a, a minty blue color custom for me which is so cool um i'll put the name in the description because i don't remember like barely till or something i don't know but the color is beautiful and i'm so pumped for it because not a lot of people do colorful stuff so our bathroom originally had a clawfoot tub and this was one of the reasons we actually bought the house i was like i love the character of this house um, but when we moved it outside, I was like, oh, it's a little bit rusty. Oh, there's paint all over it. It just like wasn't in great condition. Oh, the chips. So we are upgrading it and then we're going to have an outside bathtub. I'm so excited about this plan. Stay tuned for a future video in like a month or so. Uh, the chandelier also got hung and that's amazing. Next, we put drapes up. My husband, Preston, put a drapery rod on the inside of the beam so you don't see it on the outside. And then we hung these Pottery Barn beautiful drapes but I got them from Facebook Marketplace for $55 instead of $300. A few months ago, I thrifted some vintage tie backs for the drapes. So I also bought some um, hooks so that they can go on. And are y'all ready to see the reveal? I am going to show it to you now.
got to be honest, it was so exciting to see this come together. Months ago, I sketched out how I wanted it to look and it really, it was my vision coming to life and it was so fun. And it was days of tiling, days of grouting, hard work scrubbing off paint that I absolutely cried over. And then at the last like 10 minutes, I was like, this is it. This is what I've been dreaming of. So it looks so beautiful. I love how dramatic and cozy the drapes are and it adds some color and texture to the space. I did put in one brass planter that looks like a swan and I have a second one so let me know in the comments if you think I should add the other one if they should go somewhere else. My husband thinks the plant stands a little bit too high but I would put plants inside of them but I'm just right trying to figure out if they should even go back there. I really like the yellow trim, but I wanna hear what you think of the yellow trim. I think it's fun and it really draws your eye up. So I kinda of wanna show you the rest of the bathroom. The wallpaper I am not sure of. For me and my eye, it's a little bit dark. I think it's beautiful, but it's not reflecting light. So I'm thinking I'm going to change it out. And then I did finish a medicine cabinet, but because I'm not sure on the wallpaper, I'm going to wait for a little bit till I replace the wallpaper, which I probably will <laughs> to show you how I did that. We also have this area in the corner where we haven't tiled and that's because a tall cabinet's gonna go up. We're gonna do an Ikea hack for that, so stay tuned. And then if you look in the big view, you see we do not have a bathroom door, so I need to add that. I think that is going to be next week's project. And I also need to add the door back on the cabinet outside of the bathroom. The trim we put on at the door frame is too big, so the cabinet door won't go on, so we've got to figure that out. Um, let me know what you think about the wallpaper. To me, it's like too dark, but I want to hear your thoughts. Okay, so that's the bathroom nook. I love how it came together. I'll be honest though, the plumbing is not put in yet. So I haven't taken my first inaugural bath that I'm waiting for. But please let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please subscribe so you can follow along with the rest of this bathroom renovation and all the fun projects I like to do here.